So yeah, hello folks. Uh, welcome back to another Caves of God thingy, stream thingy. Um, I'm a little bit later today than usual because it uh, did not work out in the morning recently. So uh, yeah, probably kind of weird with time zones now and stuff, but um, you know, sometimes that is how it is. Also, I'm using this little background removal thingy which uh, I got a lifetime license for at some point. Um, which, uh, you know, it was kind of part of a bundle or something and it never really worked all that well. And uh, like earlier today, I just tried to, hey, let's check that out again. And it's a bit better, you know, there's still a bunch of like artifacting going on here, but it, I feel like it's a lot sharper than it used to be. Maybe it's also because my background is now different and there's a little bit more of a contrast between me and the background. But you know, like even with the window coming from here, you can still tell that everything is pretty bright here. But uh, you know, it does a pretty decent job. So that's cool. So uh, I'm just going to use that for a bit. It becomes kind of weird when I'm moving around, but uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, what's going on even? So, let's remove that stuff. Okay, all right. So, we are gonna start a new character, and we're gonna be a mutated human. Wait, okay, here we go. We're gonna be mutated human, and what we're gonna do is we're going to go for the ego thing again so we're gonna have 24 ego we're gonna have let's see we're gonna low intelligence because we don't really need all that much with that that's gonna be rough like low intelligence is always rough we're gonna have 14 14 oh yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be a weird one but we're gonna do it um we're gonna be an Esper, and like I said, what we're gonna do is we're going to have Beguiling and Domination. You know, that classic build. Um, so yeah, let's try that. Let's do that again. So we can now do Sense Psychic and Telepathy. Um, you know what, I'm going to get a Mental Defect. Psionic migraines. You suffer from po from power psionic migraines that render your head extremely sensitive. You can't wear hats or helmets. Since we're not really fighting ourselves, we might take that, actually. I think it's just the hats or helmets. I don't know if it does anything else. If it does, I don't know. So beguiling domination. Um, and now we could actually get the light manipulation. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to get light manipulation and sense psychic so the, that we can at least do something ourselves. Although I'm not... Hmm, like having this as a... Yeah, we're going to do that and sense psychic. How about that? All right. We're going to be an apostle because that's the build that gives us uh, proselytize as well, which will help. Choose a starting location. We're going to start in Joppa, and uh, that is a loud siren. And we're, our name is going to be Boff. We're going to be Boff. And here we go. Don't know what that even means. I hope it's not a slur in some language. Okay, let's start in Joppa. Again, streaming at a weird time today, but um, yeah, maybe. I think most of my usual folks that are watching me, it's like four in the clock in the morning for them or something like that. So, um, oh, self injector, awesome. Uh, so we're gonna see how this is gonna work out. And um, it's also like, I've not announced the stream anywhere. And it's outside of my usual streamy thing. So let's see whether we will get uh, any folks watching? We're gonna see. If not, that's fine as well. And that's just gonna be 
A fancy recording for YouTube. Another self-injector, wow. Defoliant grenade, sure. Okay. And, uh-huh. So let me see. We cannot wear anything on our head, right? You know, cannot wear the white brimmed hat. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a thing, isn't it? Borderlands Revolver, we might actually equip that already. Hi, do I always start at jo Jampa? <laughs> at Joppa? Uh, usually I do. Sometimes, just to change it up, I will pick the other locations. But usually I start with Joppa. The other locations are always a little... Um, <sighs> I don't know. I guess I'm a bit of a lazy player. So it's always like you have to search for the folks and then you have to do quests that are usually not as You know like with Joppa you always get a good start um, So I would actually My recommendation is I think you uh, you get a better start at Joppa usually so I usually take Joppa small trinket um, Let me just quickly it costs almost nothing. I'm just going to get it because I don't know what it is. Just for 001? It's extremely cheap. Shin Senior. Yeah. Well, I usually start at Joppa. Sometimes I will um I will do something else. Sometimes I will start somewhere else, but uh, usually I won't. I don't know. That's just something comforting about Joppa, I guess. It's nice that they have the option. But, yeah. Okay. Give artifact. What do we have? We Okay, like this. Let me just quickly check what the small trinket is. Oh, it's a plastic tree. Okay, of course it... Yeah. Um, so, how about you take the plastic tree as your knick-knack? Alright. Accept the quest. Boom. Here we go. Hello, Jack. Hey, it's actually... There are some familiar faces here. It's a bit of a duckling syndrome. Always sad to see a place you've grown to accept as your starting point pseudo home in ruins. Yeah, that is kind of... That is kind of a thing. I don't mind that. It's just like the... <laughs> I don't know, it's much more profane than that, I guess. It's just like the start in the randomly generated village, villages is always kind of bothersome. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, there's that as well. Okay, we're just going to sell all of our crap here that we don't need. We're not going to keep the scrap because we're never going to tinker. You know, with we, we have 12 intelligence. We're never going to tinker. Um... What we're gonna try is, um, first of all... Alright, we cannot spend points anyways, and we're not getting any. You know... We might get... You know what, we're gonna get Cudgel. Just to start out with. Have we talked? Yes, we have. Let's just try and... Where do I have the stuff on? Let's just try to... Okay, I don't have Beguile mapped. Oh yes, I have on two. You know what, we're going to start by proselytizing, not by beguiling. On you? You don't? Nope. Let's wait a little. You? Mm-mm, no. Let's try to get someone to come with us. Here we go. All right, because we need someone to do the initial steps for us. Okay, all right, dominate. Let's go down. Because they will, believe it or not, be a little more resilient than we are. And your stuff is painted. We can actually take a bit of a look at that. All right, good. Do you have night vision? Yeah, they always have night vision. Okay, there's a sh another shrine to Reshef. Okay. Hmm. Also, it's the historical site of Dad. Okay. It's Daddy's historic site. 
historical side. Okay. Um, yeah. We're just gonna start, and we're not gonna play with our main character. Now that I ha actually have light manipulation, we can hopefully do a little bit more than with the last character. It doesn't exist with the other start. That it, that it, that it existed some time ago, but no more. It's sort of nice, but really sad. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is kind of sad. Another apron. Yeah, you have the wooden tunic. That's better. You know, I do wonder if the implicate. Oh, my domination is broken. Uh, was killed by a snapjaw warrior. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I do wonder if the implication is that we are playing quite a bit later. I mean, you know, I I don't think it, that is actually the case because uh, still the jewel dusk of whatever. Third of Kisu Ux. I don't know. Maybe it's like a hundred a hundred years later or something like that. Okay, zap zap. I'm just gonna beguile something or proselytize something. I mean, when the that's that Snapjaw Warrior. It killed a buddy. There you are. Uh, the salutizing has not worked. Why is it blocked by Shale? Oh, I've dominated. I haven't... Um, that was stupid. I haven't proselytized. I have dominated. That's why everything was blocked by Shale. Okay, so... Doesn't matter, we're just gonna we're just gonna work with this guy right now. Let's just wait a bit. I should actually install the clever girl mod. Um Dominate and here we go. Let's see. How are they? Huh? 17, 16, 16, yeah? Very, very average. Okay. The thing is, with this build, we don't actually need to be an Esper. Maybe next time I will not be an Esper, we can have a physical defect. Huh. I don't think we need to be an Esper. Yeah, I can actually... Yeah, maybe we can do some... Ooh. Oh, was killed. Yeah, sure. That is to be expected. Oh dear. Yeah, we're taking a bunch of damage just from the normal snap jaws. That's where we're at. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to find a companion. That is definitely true. Snapjaw brute, you're gonna no. Nope. No, we cannot we cannot proselytize down the stairs. Okay. You know what? I mean, boom. There we go. You come up and you're gonna help us. We're just gonna go through like that until we find a proper companion. And we're gonna beguile you, and then we're gonna have a little posse of two snap jaws. Um, and I'm just gonna have them fight for me for the time being. And we're not gonna do anything ourselves. That's kind of the plan. I think that's a good plan. Zip. Here we go. You know, sometimes the odd laser blast. I think that, I think that works. Alright, we're just going to kill a bunch of things here to get our level ups. Um, yeah. Just gonna keep that. We're gonna invest into ego. We have cudgel. Yeah. Cooking and gathering, that's all intelligence. Oh yeah. We're not gonna be able to cook really. <laughs> Which is it's fine. We're never gonna get much in any way here. Just a few very basic things. What was wayfaring? Um what skill was that? Or what stat was that, rather? With Wayfaring, there we go. It's also intelligence. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna get wayfaring. Maybe at some point, but uh, yeah. Really, the plan is really not to do anything ourselves. Oh shit, and I was killed by a snap just like a scavenger. Yeah, that goes fast. You know what? We're going to try this again. We're gonna do this a little differently. Um, 15 here. Let's just quickly do this, and then we have two extra points. I'm gonna go into toughness. Maybe like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're not gonna be the Esper. Uh, Esper, yeah, Esper. Because I don't really intend to manifest any additional mutations. So, we're gonna have... Let's see, we can get a physical defect. Tonic allergy. <laughs> hmm. We need at least a minus three, I think. Myopic, jeez. Amphibious. Amphibious would be kind of fun. We need more water. Do you know what? No, let's be amphibious. Let's be an amphibious, mental, beguiling domination. So we need more water, but we have so much ego, water is not going to be a problem. They nerf ego projection a bit. I don't know. I've not played with ego projection anytime recently. Bit bonkers before. Both in game wise and immersion wise. Yeah, I like ego projection, but I haven't played with it in a while. You perform, perform uncanny physical feats. Yeah, physical attribute by an at amount equal to twice your ego bonus. Was it different before? I don't remember. Cooldown 200 rounds. Duration is relatively low. Hmm. Beguiling domination, light manipulation, sense psychic. I think that should work. Maybe yes. What other could be? Well, it could be hooks for feet. You cannot wear shoes. Irritable genome, that would be fun. Um, the next mutation point you gain will be spent randomly. The thing is... Like, we only really have three ones that I would actually want to spend stuff on. So we could actually have the Irritable Genome instead. I mean, that could be... Get a random one instead of a choice of three. I mean, that's fine, because we don't really need that. Okay. Let's see, Light Manipulation... If we don't do this, what else do we have? We could we could have Mental Mirror as well. The problem is with Mental Mirror, that's another one that will increase. So maybe we don't actually want that. You know, I think we don't actually want that. So... Let's not do this. Phoebe's Brittle Bones. Concussive damage. Spontaneous Combustion. We shouldn't do that. Myopic hooks for feet. Cannot wear shoes. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe. We could have night vision if we do this. Not that we need it, though. But we could. Or thick fur. Let's have thick fur. Hello, Pony P. Increased cost from 2 to 4, yeah. Boosting a stat now has an action cost. Okay. Yeah, that is a bit of enough. Let's have hooks for feet, just for shits and giggles. Apostle. Starting location, Jopper. Uh, let's just generate a name, because I don't have anything on top of my head right now. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we have those three. The other ones cannot increase, which is fine. Um, we have a little bit of... Wait. Thick fur. Mm -hmm. A little bit of heat and cold resistance and just a little bit of reputation, which is fine. Um, beguiling domination. The baboons. We have a little bit of reputation with baboons. That's probably not going to be enough. 
take a look at the factions. Baboons, baboons, minus 200. Okay, that's good. Um, don't care about you, but aggressive ones will attack you. The thing is, this if we find a group of baboons now, that means there's a chance that they will not attack us, and that will mean we have an easier time getting a baboon to follow us. You know, folks, everything is kind of falling into place. The thing is, um, finding a baboon group is kind of a big ask, right? Like, we don't know if we're actually going to find one. I usually, I often go many runs without actually running into a baboon group. So, that's kind of a thing. Additional water skin, that is nice. Do we have night vision now? Did I get night vision? No. Thick fur. I got thick fur. We don't need the night vision. Again, we can just carry a thing. It is. It doesn't matter at all. Okay. What does it actually say? Okay, we have hooks. And we can actually attack with the hooks on our feet. That's kind of fun. It's a short blade. Makes sense. Um, it's not very good, though. I am doing a big eye proselytize build, indeed. Okay, we have some carbide stuff here. We might just buy the carbide battle axe. You know what? Let's do that. And maybe, the, you know what? We're gonna be able to afford it probably, so. Let's just get that stuff. I'm just gonna get that stuff. Leather moccasins that we cannot wear. Alright. You know, we might use that to give our folks some stuff. Okay. All right. We're not going to use any of that ourselves, though. Okay, buddy, friend. Let's trade the glow sphere. Here we go. All right. Torch, glow sphere. We might as well. Use the carbide dagger for now. Doesn't matter. All right, buddy. Okay, we don't have any artifact just yet, but that's fine. We're gonna find one. We're gonna find one. Take a look at the Reshef statue, there we go, and let's take a look at the other statue, which looks quite interesting this time. The Stained King of... Kin of Oozes, not King. Shining Kitty? Oh, you mean the Ray Cat? So where's the historic site? It's over there. Why Shining Kitty? Yep. <laughs> Up there, yeah, there's the cat. Okay, it's not a ray cat, I think, whatever. Pro salatize, no? Unconvinced by my pleas? That's where we're at, okay. Mm -hmm. I get it. All right, so pro salatized. We're gonna dominate and we're gonna go down. Again, we're gonna take it kinda slowly. And uh, we're going to try to not do anything by ourselves. You know, might as well equip that guy a little bit with some stuff. Although we're definitely not going to stick with the water wine farmer, even if he survives. Leather moccasins. Do you already have something? You have sandals. Okay. That's okay. Copper nugget, wooden arrow, yeah, no, just pick up everything, why not? Oh yeah, wow. That was a way longer battle than a battle with a snapjaw should be. <laughs> okay, what are your stats? Yeah, your stats are not good. Your stats are really not good. It's kind of the same as the snapjaw warriors. Okay. Let's go down. Okay, there's a bear. Um, well, we could try to proselytize the bear. Why not? Oh, that didn't work. B 
to guard the bear. Oh, that worked. Let's just... I don't know what the bear... Let's dominate the bear. Okay. <laughs> Not a lot of ego on bears, but a lot of toughness. And uh, thing is, already starts at level 6, so that's not... These stats are not exactly great for level 6, but, you know, whatever. Like, all of these creatures that we will follow us are probably gonna die. So, it's fine. Bear is at least gonna be able to do a little more. Oh no. Yeah, it's really not good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Domination was broken, was killed by a Snapdraw Scavenger. I was expecting that. Alright. Should probably just do it. Like this. Um, Guard the centipede? Why not? Let's, you know, I kind of like to look at stats of creatures. So, hoo-hoo. That's not a lot of intelligence, willpower, and ego. Like, all the mind stuff. You know? Centipedes, not really fans of that. What are our active effects? Salt encrusted, cleaved, beguiled, and dominated. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's just run around with our little human centipede. Not, not human centipede. Wow, my mind just went there. And uh, we have a bite. Do we have any skills? Short blade. Just short blade expertise. Is the bite a short blade? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could count teeth as short blades, right? That would work. Centipede. I might not be the brightest, but I'm bloody wet. You know? <laughs> That's what I tell myself every day. Can the centipede actually use swords? Let's see. Cannot use, yeah, cannot use swords. That would be fun, right? It's just a lot of legs. It's just tons of legs. No hands. The centipede was able to identify the high explosive grenade though. That's something. Just pick that stuff up, why not? You're gonna die pretty soon, so it's fine. One health left, it's fine, we're not gonna we're not gonna preserve anything here. Domination is broken, just in a normal way, that's okay. You go down there, fight a little bit, level two, here we go. Station point, we're gonna keep all of that. Gonna keep all of that. Talk about stupid. Who's a good boy? <laughs> what are you attacking? I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Folks, what are you doing? Oh, there's a... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Just quickly explore the rest. Zip, zip, zip. Here we go. And who's a good boy or girl? I don't actually know. Doesn't, I mean, make sense. Like with stuff like snap jaws, you will sometimes get pronouns in the, in the description. With centipedes, you don't. Centipede does not have pronouns. Um, now that's always kind of the problem. If you if you don't dominate, they always come after you. All right. Uh, you know what? Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay, gain the level. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. You know, this is working out nicely so far. Yes, there are neo pronouns indeed.
Also, hello, I see Jack. I'm not up on my time zones, but it is, isn't it like, I don't know, some ungodly time where you're at? Right now? <laughs> I don't know. Let you set your own pro. Never really comes up in game, yeah. Yeah, it never really does, doesn't it? I don't, I don't ever see someone referring. It's nearly midnight. Okay, so. Not that. And I was thinking something else. Yeah, it was somebody else. But somebody told me that. I um, don't know who that was, but when I'm usually streaming, that it's about midnight. And so now it should be like four o'clock in the morning for them. So they will probably not be here watching today. And it's fine. Um, okay, what do we have? Zip and zap. Why are you not fighting back, folks? Like, come on. These guys, they are not fighting back. What's even... You know what? Let's do this via domination again. It's kind of fun playing with the centipede, though. Ooh, centipede against centipede. Thing is, this centipede... Oh, no. It, did it level up? No. It hasn't leveled up. Okay. Painted bronze dagger. Yes, centipede, look at the painting and tell me what you see. Copper nugget. I wonder where the centipede is carrying that stuff. Probably just on the back. Just gonna get all that once the centipede is inevitably gonna die. Which is gonna happen sooner or later. Probably once we run into the crabs and no worms and stuff. Um, we're just gonna pick that stuff up. All right. Hello, Crambo Gaming. Tad Forum. So we have Dad as a historic site and Tad Forum. That's just a Tad Forum. I don't know. Domination is broken. Oh, so like the beetle bums, like the beetle bums, I think that's how the beetle bums do it. They eat this stuff. Okay. Uh, further down, yes, further down. So you know what? We're just gonna centipede this. Dominate. Boom. Let's go down. Let's check this. It's really kind of... What are we fighting? S Cave spider, okay. Kind of fun playing with the centipede, I must say. I don't know. It's just something different. So many more legs than usual. How much can they... 300, yeah. I mean, 20 strength. That makes sense. Studded leather armor. Can you wear studded leather armor? And the centipede can wear studded leather armor, which is just kind of awesome. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's probably... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. There we go. That's that. And a good person that we are. We're gonna wait. Dominate the next guy. And here we go. I'll just quickly take... I know it's actually you. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that. Zip. And zip, there we go. So now we don't have any friends anymore. Which is fine. That is fine. <laughs> I'm gonna equip this. Wooden tunic is better than the cloth robe. Iron Vine Reaper, we could get that. Okay. That artifact, flaming bronze dagger. We're gonna take this because, yes, indeed, we need to find a knickknack. Um, explosive grenade. Yeah, all this stuff. 
Another scrap we can just sell. That is fine. Okay. Ooh, shit! Oh yeah, right. That took a bunch of turns. You know what? We're gonna replay the character and try this again. Um, because it might just work out. If we find a good companion, that is. Uh, what is my name? Um, let's just get a get a random name. So, you know, it's kind of the thing with this. We just need to try to get past the starting stuff, which is always going to be a little tough. It's an Uber Nostrum injector and a self injector. Wow, that's a good find. Have they have they made the loot at the start a little more yielding? Um, this is the build. So we're doing beguiling domination, light manipulation. We have hooks for feet. So I'm not doing Esper, mainly because I'm not going to take any additional. I'm not going to take any additional thingies, mutations, probably. We're just gonna focus on the ones that we have. Um, and yeah, let's see where that goes. My plan is to not really do any fighting myself, which hasn't really worked out, as you've seen, but um, yeah. So we have some ring mail. I'm going to get the ring mail. Um, mm -hmm. Get rid of that. Just buy the lead slugs, because we can. Wooden tunic. Should probably use the wooden tunic instead of the ring nail. That's better for now. That's better for now. I think dodge value is actually probably for this character the better bet. Okay. Here we go. Anything? Nothing. Yeah, just the water. Sure. Sure. I'll take the water. I'm gonna use that to buy a glow sphere for 14 bucks. You know what? Have a copper nugget. Yes, indeed. Glow sphere. Proselytize. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no sense in trying to proselytize the warden. It might work for later. And we are much better at that. I think we need to be careful about beguiling, though. Because... I think beguiling counts as an attack if it does not work. So that will make folks hostile. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I played this, but uh, yeah. Again, let me just quickly check the factions. Yes, baboons. That's why I have the thick fur to be in the neutral with the baboons. So we don't have the thing that I had the last time I played this, where I was able to, I was able to proselytize or to beguile the ringed baboon, but then in the next turn I got killed by them, so. Give artifact. Okay, we have an acid gas grenade. The other ones I'm not gonna give. All right. All right. I think that is fine. So now we're gonna proselytize. Here we go. You wanna come with me? That is good. We're gonna proselytize and we're gonna dominate. And the other guy is just going to ignore what just happened, you know, like, like not weird at all what just happened. Ooh. Might die. No, actually not. We're gonna get the spider. We're gonna we're gonna get ourselves a spider friend. How about that? I'm not going to attack the spider just yet. Small turquoise tube. Mm-hmm. I can just pick up everything right now. Okay, is there another Snapjaw Hunter? Where are you? There you are. 
and dead. Okay. Oh, there's already the spider. Okay, so proselytize. That worked. Good. Now we're going to wait 68 turns. Almost the nice number. And we're going to dominate. Ooh, spiders are not great. Ooh, we can do spider webs though. Spin webs, yes. Okay. Well, let's spider around. Kind of nice to be a spider, you know? Always kind of nice if you are the creepy crawly yourself. You don't have to deal with creepy crawlies. Crawlies. Spiders are really not great. <laughs> that was a swift one. Okay, you're not gonna do this, all right. Proselytize, here we go. I'm gonna try to beguile. Here we go. The snapjaw, the wet snapjaw warlord ogles you lovingly. That's not a sentence you want to read. Um. How are the warlords? Yeah, the warlords are a little bit better. Also level 1. Absolutely sopping. Yes. No. <laughs> what do you have? You have a staff. Do you have any skills? No. Obviously not. Okay, it's kind of interesting. So, the Warlord handily won that battle against the Warrior. So the Warlords are better than the Warriors. I never actually considered the actual hierarchy of Snapjaws. That seems to be the case. Okay, there's a bear up there. Domination is broken, but that's just a normal, the drenched Warlord. That's the name of my fanfiction. What's your name, actually? Oh, they don't have a name. Can't we give them a name? Yes. Give items rename. No, I don't have a good name. Um... Hubert. You're gonna be Hubert. Okay. Level 2! We are leveling up swiftly. Or not. Okay. Okay, there's a bear. Okay, y'all are just gonna fight over there. Snapjaw Hunter has died, so that's okay. Hubert gains a level. Some bats. Okay. Let's move on. We're probably gonna have to get ourselves a crab or like a no worm or something. Once we get down there, you know, we need something to get through this stuff. It's still gonna be rough once we get there, but uh, we're gonna see. Right now, it's just going to be Hubert and I. Hubert, the drenched warlord. Well, that's a good episode title, isn't it? Okay. Hubert, you're going to go... Domination is broken? Oh yeah, right. I think swapping places breaks domination. 62. Dominate. Let's go down. 
Okay, bunch of centipedes. Ooh, that might be a snapjaw boss group. I might die. Yeah, companion is dead. Um, just gonna proselytize real fast. Go back up. I'm gonna wait 54 turns. I'm gonna dominate, and we're gonna get down. Oh yeah, that is a boss group. Okay, we're gonna get a get ourselves a snapjaw friend here. Uh, let me see. Hated by the villagers of Sagavu. Okay, you're gonna die. That is fine. Fire snarler. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, there you are. What we're gonna do is we're gonna proselytize. That didn't work. That didn't work, and we're gonna try beguiling, and that worked. Okay. You know my buddy. Okay, that will make this a little bit easier. Because, um, you know, the boss creatures are gonna be a little bit easier to have a fight for us. They usually have better stats and everything. Let's tr let's see. Yeah, okay. The stats are not great, but you know, higher HP, and at level two, and you have pyrokinesis, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, might increase a bunch of pyrokinesis stuff. You have an iron battle axe. Good. So you're gonna get axe proficiency, and uh, yeah. We don't have any armor though. We're definitely gonna have to find some stuff. All right, now we're kind of in business for the time being. Bronze dagger, you can keep that in your offhand. Boskin gloves, how about you equip those? Iron short sword, that's better for the offhand. Here we go. A hermit down there. You have chainmail. I want that chainmail. I think we're going to be able to kill the, the hermit. Yes, indeed. Chainmail. Equip that. Which is very good. Mm. Okay, we're not going to get anything. How much strength do you have? 16. Ooh, that's not a lot. Gonna invest into strength. Maybe into endurance. Just a bit. Again, we're probably not going to stick with our snappy friend here. But, you know, that's gonna make the beginning a little easier to deal with. Because now we have someone who can actually survive for a bit and fight for a bit, so that's good. Sturdy bark armor. No. Pick up this stuff. Domination is broken. Interestingly enough, the auto expiration just continued. That does not stop from breaking domination. Okay, let's go down. So what do we have here? Bunch of folks. Thing is they are all already activated because of the heightened smell. I'm just gonna fight on the stairs a little bit. Hmm, lots of centipedes. Oh, yeah. The our main character has leveled up. All right, good. Okay, that worked. I'm gonna have to spend a bunch of points soon. Let's do this. The problem is once we unbeguile this guy, uh, guy. Oh no, no, it says you, I think, I think that was she pronouns, so. Whoops. Uh, once we unbeguile, <laughs> 
because we find a find a more interesting creature. I think she's going to be hostile again, and that's going to become a bit of a problem, maybe, because she's going to be much stronger than she was initially. But we're just going to have to deal with that. All right, let's do a little bit of fire nonsense. Right. Snapjaw against Snapjaw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's not exactly strong yet, but uh I don't know. It's okay. Level five. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Right, short blade will probably be better. You know what? You're going to get short blade and jab because you're using a short blade in your offhand. Ooh. She was killed by a snapshot brute. Well, I didn't pay sufficient attention. So that's stupid. Okay, now we don't have a companion anymore, which is fine. It's fine. Um, we're just gonna try it. Ooh, wow, the brutes have a lot of... No, that's myself. I have not dominated yet. Jesus Christ, Jay. Turn on your brain. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of ego. And then, yeah. Okay, so they also start at level 1 and have 40 HP. And stats are about the same, so... I mean, that's kind of neat. So they are almost as good as the Snapjaw bosses. Oh, well. Goes to figure. Okay. Leather cap. Put that on your head. Iron Mace, you can have a second mace if you want. Yeah, just two maces. That's fun. Just clobbering stuff with two maces and leveling up a bunch. Okay, so let's pick up all the stuff again. Chainmail, the buddy. Boskin gloves on the hands, the Sachari banner on the back, the rest is fine. Okay. Mm hmm. 9 AV, our little snapjaw friend here. We're not gonna survive super long, but that's fine. No, it's just to help us get past this. We can go further down here, but that's not what we're going to do right now. We're just going to do a red rock. Planning to go into the underground just yet. Um, could be interesting, you know. Could be that we find some interesting folks there, but... Uh, let's just be careful. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm, below 40%, that is okay. Right. Oh yeah, that worked out. Okay, so how about you rest up? Domination is broken, that is fine. Okay, let's continue. A little bit we can do ourselves, and also we need to actually do stuff here. Right. It's easy to forget that, but uh, yeah, we gained a bunch of levels in the last bit of stuff. So, Persuasion. Let's get Snake Oiler again. We're not gonna... Ooh, oh yeah, right. We had to get Persuasion first. So we're gonna get Snake Oiler, and we are absolutely gonna get Inspiring Presence. In fact, I'm going to... Um, 
I am going to save up the points to get inspiring presence before anything else because that's gonna be ex oh shit I attacked the wrong creature I attacked my friend I'm very sorry about that let's wait until we can dominate again and continue attribute point yeah you do a strength mutation point we're just gonna buy a random mutation once we can uh, we're gonna get cudgel and bludgeon and here we go do you have yeah you have the two maces all right weird artifacts oh that's an electro bow sure and a sniper rifle and a bunch of short bows I don't know what somebody was stashing there, but uh, that was just a bunch of stuff. All right. Okay. Main person gained a level. It's good. I'm just going to keep fighting here. Another snapjaw brute, but we are stronger because we're better equipped and we have leveled up a bit. All right. Gonna fight the rest of this map. Come on. Wow. These Snapjaw Warriors. These Snapjaw Warriors. Okay. Come on. Alright. Good. Giant Centipede. Here we go. No, we're gonna rest up. And we're gonna continue. And we're gonna just slowly, 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 slowly make our way forwards. Domination is broken. Okay. Good. So we'll level up again, right? Yeah. We have five mutation points, which is kind of nice. Um, we're going to save up our skill points. I think, yeah, I think on the next level up we should have enough to get Inspiring Presence, which is good. So that's absolutely what we want. And, uh, yeah. All right. Good. Before we continue, domination north. Oh yeah, there's a lot of folks here. Now we get to the gnoll worms. Um, we might just try to proselytize a gnoll worm. Oops. Oh, that's not good. I'm standing too close to the border of the map. No, ah, was killed. Yeah, that was, again, to be expected. The thing is, uh, let's just get a bunch of the stuff here. Let's equip the chainmail. I'm gonna equip this stuff ourselves now. Boskin gloves. Leather cap. Here we go. Yes. Okay, we're hungry. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Okay, there's already a thingy here. Ah. There we go. Whip up a meal. I'm probably never going to be able to do much apart from just whipping up a meal. Like, no buff foods for us. Uh, okay. Gonna blast everything we have. The shoot would be kind of fun to get the. All right, that's the horn chameleon. Kind of fun to get the slug snout, but I'm not gonna risk getting close to to it. Okay, now horn chameleon badly wounded. I'm gonna dominate because I wanna check out. What they can do. Ah, also, not much for for the mind. It does have horn, but 11 HP at level five. That's not really. That's not going. That's not really going to work out. Um, equipment. The bite is the main attack. We should make the horn the main attack. It's more useful. That's kind of interesting that they have the bite as the 
as the main attack. Okay. We're just gonna chameleon our way through this. Very, very briefly. <laughs> okay. Crab. Proselytize. Here we go. Now we have a crab friend. This might be a bit more useful, actually. Let's go down here again. We're gonna wait. 45 turns. And now... Snapshot scavenger, what are you doing here? Rip Camille. Yeah, that was... I mean, that was very briefly. Need to give crab friends some eyes, yes. Let's... Oh, we would need some. Okay, what do we have? Enhanced skeleton. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's a good one. Does level one stuff, does level two stuff. I believe that mutation is uh, not quite finished yet. Kind of a pre release thing that we're looking at here. Does level one stuff, does level two stuff. And description. So we don't know what it actually does. We don't know what the enhanced skeleton does. We just know that the crab has it. It has a bunch of strength and toughness, but not much else, which makes sense. Starts at level seven though, so that's not great. Kinetic dampening, we also don't know what that is. Interesting, so just the crabs have that, and I think there's no way to get that. Um, it's just some things that you're not supposed to see. I mean, that's cool. Just level 2 skeletal stuff, indeed. We're gonna die here. Yep. Which is, again, fine. Let's proselytize the, the next crab. There we go. We always want to have companions. No matter what we do. And no matter how strong they are or not. We always want to have something that is fighting that is not us. Not gonna fight back, huh? It's kind of interesting, like, if, um... I think auto battle, because they are trivial, right? No, they're easy. Hmm. I don't know why they're not fighting back. It's fine, we're dominating. We're doing this. Okay. Hmm, giant amoeba. Pop. Could be kind of fun to run around as a giant amoeba. Yep, generally crabs win against no worms. That tracks. When they are fighting, and they are fighting, crabs generally fight no ones. Almost got killed by a centipede, okay. All right. There's always such a weird start with this type of... Oh, we could actually... We could get ourselves a cannon... Oh, a killipede. So you're gonna die. Yep, domination is broken. What we're gonna try is... We're gonna try to beguile the killipede. Oh, and now we can't because that guy was beguiled. All right. Okay. Now we have a killipede. I do want to know what the killipede can do. When you lose the link to the crab if someone kicks your main char. Yeah, whenever something happens with your main character, even if you swap places as the dominated creature that I've just found out, um, the domination will be broken. So you have to, yeah, you have to be in a safe spot, essentially. Take a look at that. Okay. Hmm. So we have kills, quills, kills, quills, quillipede. I think it's rather quillipede than a killipede, right? Cannot die of starvation, hopefully. Might be possible, but gonna be, you know, gonna have to make, have to do some work to actually get in that situation. How much health? Yeah, sixty health. We have level thirteen. Oh dear. Oh, there's a slug snout up there. 
And now we don't have any companion left. Um, shh. Oh, there's a slug snout. Okay, we're gonna have to kill the slug snout. I kind of want to have a slug snout, but not like that. Okay, let's proselytize the killipede and dominate. And here we go. Oh, there's a slumberling. Having a slumberling friend does not make sense because you always sleep, obviously. <laughs> Yeah. Slug nuts are probably kind of rough at the start. Domination is broken, it's fine. Again, there's no sense in trying to get the slumberling. I did that before. Um, you can't do anything because you always fall asleep. So yeah, there's not much use in that. Okay, Hermit. Hey Hermit, you want to come with me. And again. I'm gonna wait. 39 turns. An enemy hostile. Yeah, you know. Slumberlings are usually not much of a threat. If nobody wakes them, that's fine. Let's dominate. And here we go. Level 4, 20 health, night vision, very average stats. We just have fists to punch folks with. Let's do that. And yeah, that was a that was a swift one. Yeah, and we're just gonna slowly hack our way through this. Could get the beetle bum as a companion. Let's try that. It could be kind of fun. I think they are rather strong. I'll proselytize the crab for now. And let's try beguiling the beetle bum. Yes, indeed. The problem with the beetle bum as a friend. Have I played Cud a lot? Yes, I do. Um, I think there's about like 400 hours of me playing the game on YouTube, if you want to check that out. I've been playing and streaming the game for a long time. Although it wasn't streaming initially. I was just, you know, that was kind of, I was just recording stuff. Okay, Beetlebum, 65 health, level 8. And there's another slug snout. Massive mandibles. Well, the damage that they do. I know that slumberlings are actually kind of tough, so... Not slumberlings. Beetle bumps. Although not tough enough. <laughs> it's fine. We're just tearing through our companions here. But that is actually absolutely fine. Thing is, we can now get inspiring presence, and that's gonna make our folks a lot better. 41, because that's gonna increase their health. Just started the game like 10 hours ago, and if the game says it's impossible, you believe it is. Yes. Um, Usually that's a good idea. At some point you get kind of a feeling for, um, I think the, I think that's just based on level, right? And there is like fights with impossible creatures that you can win. But if you're not very, not yet experienced at the game, I would probably advise to not pick fights with impossible creatures. <laughs> Okay, let me just quickly... Yeah, let's do the domination again. Yeah, so now the creature is emboldened, which means we have 44 out of 30 health, right? So uh, that increases the health of your creatures, and that's going to be really good. Especially once we get like to the proper... Oh, come on. To the... If we get some proper companions, that's gonna... Yeah. And also, like, there's creatures that have a high level, but that are not, not particularly dangerous. 
actually, because they don't do a lot of damage or something like that, right? Like, that is something that you can run into. We might die. Yeah, Eilis Crab has died, that is fine. Okay, there was another Eilis Crab. Oh yeah, the bear wants to wants to hang out with us. So you can do that if you want. Okay. 43. I'm gonna dominate again. I'm gonna do this with the bear. You can pick up stuff with the crab, or with a bear, right? Like the bear? Yeah, they have claws, um, so you can't actually use weapons with the bear, probably. But you could, you can put on body armor as the bear. Like that leather armor? This bear now wears leather armor, which is kind of badass, actually. Uh, but, um, yeah, right. So we cannot have... Uh, we cannot use axes or whatever, because we don't have any... Yeah, we don't have any any hands, you know. It's just the claws and the bite. Having a bear friend could actually be pretty fun. Oh, it starts at six. Maybe if we can get a bark biter or something like that. Oh yes, they do have inventory, like just a normal inventory. Like um, dominated or beguiled creatures work just as yourself. There's no different rules there. Okay. See? Just picking up these the skins at innards, uh-huh. I'm just gonna pick up these books. Glyphs are inscribed on each exterior face. Unburden yourself from the coast. Wow, there's some. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up all this stuff. We're gonna get that later with them. We're gonna give that to our main person. Mangoat you. <laughs> okay. Uh I like that. That's a plated null worm. Yeah, the bath actually kind of nice, neat. Domination instead of beguiling. Uh, I have both. Pros you know, and because I'm an apostle, I can also proselytize, which is the the skill one. It's not the mutation, but the skill. Like, domination does something different. Like, beguiling gets your friend, and domination lets you take control of your friends and of whomever, but it makes more sense to do it with your friends. Uh, what's the neck ring? We're gonna take that, sure. Alright. I'm gonna go here. Proselytize again. I'm like, yes, I'm playing a crazy ego character right now, which I haven't done in a while, but, uh, you know, I just felt like doing this again. It all kind of will depend on us getting a good companion. And there are some companions that are really good. Uh, particularly... If there is a boss group of baboons. <laughs> the bosses are called like ringed baboon. And that's what you really want. Because they become absurdly powerful if you level them up. So yeah, that's what I'm looking to do mainly. Accidentally seduced a baboon. Yeah, named ones, right? Like, named creatures is always good to have as companions. They are always better. Uh, but those baboons are... the shit. As they say. The Isle of Crab is dehydrated. Right. Ah, it doesn't matter. Usually, once you have a good companion, you actually want to give them food and drinks as well. Um... With this one, it doesn't matter, actually. Because we're not going to keep them. <laughs> yeah. I find, like, the normal baboons to be really annoying, generally. But, yeah. 
Uh, let's do beguiling. Here we go. Have ourselves a snapjaw warrior friend. Dominate creature. How are they? Yeah, the warriors are kind of the best ones of the snapjaws. They definitely are. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Nope. Yeah, yeah, we're probably going to break domination soon. Oh, domination's broken. We're going to proselytize this crab. Oh. Are you a friend? No, you're not a friend. Shit, that's actually kind of bad. Fuck. Um... Can beguile again soon, so we're gonna do that right now. Both are friendly, so we have two crab friends now. Okay, good. <sighs> Zip. Usually what you kinda wanna do is at some point is you never wanna be at this on the same map, right? You wanna stay on another map and then just get the stuff you need and do like clear out the maps just with your companions and not yourself but you know for now since we're not in full companion mode just yet oh there's an albino ape we might actually get that as a companion okay and what let's end domination Let's try to get the al albino ape. Where are you? Buddy. Buddy. Where are you at? Hmm. Went away. Went away. Somewhere I don't know. Okay. Oh, there you are. So we're gonna beguile, here we go, and that means one of the crabs is gonna be hostile. Let's pick up the books that the crab was carrying. I think the albino apes are also not particularly great. They don't make for good companions, but for now, you know, since we're not in the, in the good stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, they have pretty high strength, at least, but they start out at level 12, so yeah. I'm leveling now, yeah. Essentially. You know, I'm just kind of trying to... Ego characters are always kind of weird at the start, because you start out really underpowered. And... Well, essentially, once we get a good companion, we're gonna essentially start the game proper. Until then, we're just going to try to get through. I'm just doing Red Rock right now. You know... Just basically. But we are very early in the game right now. Okay. I'm just gonna continue with the with the ape. Um Yeah, punching with their fists. That makes sense. Natural weapon. That's why they have relatively high penetration. The attacks, I mean. Um, but you know what? Let's equip the... So, yeah, right. That's the thing about the about the apes, obviously, is they have hands and stuff, right? So you can actually fully equip them with, uh, with stuff. With everything that you could equip yourself as well. What kind of skills? Okay, they have cudgel. That makes sense. Cudgel and bludgeon. Anything else? No. Iron Mace. You know, the fists are actually way better than the Iron Maces. So, you're dying of thirst. Oh dear, dehydrated. Uh-huh. I think we should actually get our ape friend here some water. Oh, 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 there's a Snapjaw boss. Okay. Another cool thing that happens is if we break domination and we're on a different map, they're just going to get teleported back. Okay. 
Albino Ape, let's trade. Uh, we're going to take the beta bracelet. And I'm going to give you a water skin with water so that you don't get completely dehydrated. Here we go. And the ape just pounds their chest. Let's just quickly take a look. He, okay. It's an ape dude. Live and drink, ape. Live and drink. Okay, so we have a snap jaw. So are you beguiled? Okay, you are beguiled. So we're going to proselytize the... Oh, that doesn't matter, actually. We can beguile. We can beguile. We're going to get the ape back later. Because the ape is not going to become hostile once that goes sideways. Where are you? There you are. Let me just take a quick look at you. Hated by apes, oh dear, for repeatedly beating them at dice. So these folks will just put, have to put their differences behind them, I guess. So we're gonna be Guile. Here we go. Ape friend, you are gonna get proselytized. Okay, you fight each other. Are you hostile now? Oh, you are hostile now. That's a little unfortunate. Wasn't a fan of that, I guess. The AP, AP friend. Try proselytizing again. No, proselytizing does not work. Okay. That's a bit of a problem now. Good thing is we are pretty... Yes. Okay. All right. That's that. So much for the ape. But at least we have a named Snapjaw again, which is going to be, if I'm a little more careful now, that's going to be a bit more useful. So, <laughs> Libendink, <laughs> I like that. You know, she's trying, she's trying. Um, let me just quickly check, disliked by antelopes. Yeah, no reason to do the water ritual. All we're gonna do is we're gonna trade and you are gonna get some stuff from me. You're gonna get that water skin again. Did I do it? I didn't do it. Alt feature? I mean, the show me everything that is something, yeah. That's pretty good, you're right. And we're going to dominate and we're going to take a look. 22 Ego, which isn't really what we're looking for, but that's okay. Um, you know, I mean, like, because of the embolden, she now has 93. Because of the beguiling and the emboldening. Um, spend channel points to name a companion. <laughs> channel points? Oh yeah, right. We could do that, but I will gladly name companions, I don't know, maybe I could do channel points, why not? Oops. Yeah, right, they also now count as companions, get the entire group. Yeah, we can do that. So if you want to name a companion, for example, this friendly snapjaw lady uh we can do this via channel points why not right i should gamify my streams a little more always forget this kind of stuff i'm not a good twitch streamer <laughs> okay So we're going to put this stuff into... I don't have a green screen, actually. <laughs> I was talking about that at the start. I'm using Expert VCam, which is kind of a thing that I, I don't have a green screen. Like, this is a proper room in my home. Um, and I'm not going to put a green screen in here. And the light actually also does not work for that. So, yeah. 
This is a fake green screen. <laughs> the good thing is, um, apparently, the software has got good enough that it actually passes as passes for a green screen. So uh, I'm happy for that. But you know, like there's some bad stuff. See, there's still a bunch of artifacting. It doesn't really like my glasses when I look over here. It does like weird stuff here. And also my hands get... Ugh, look at the zombie hand. Ugh. <laughs> but if I just sit here straight up, look at the camera, it works pretty, pretty nicely. So... Probably gonna use that some more now because, uh, yeah. I like that. I like that. I don't want the Snapjaw Scavenger Companions. Alright. Okay, we're now actually getting close to Red Rock, which is nice. And I'm going to try and keep this Companion for the time being. And we should definitely equip them with a bunch of stuff. Uh, using a staff right now. What should we do? Should we do Cudgel? Let's do Cudgel. Let's do cudgel. The hands are usually on the keyboard, indeed. I don't know, any points? And that's just going to be the next companion. I mean, that's just channel points, right? Like, channel points don't mean much, I think. What was that like? Like, the channel points, you get them for, like, watching? Periods of time, right? I don't... the thing is that I'm saying any points is that I don't know what is many points and what is not so many points. Let me just quickly check. Customer support. How do you... how much do you get? Active watching is 50 points. So let's just say 100 points. Let's just say 100 points. How about that? Yeah. Um, thank you, Jack, for the suggestion, actually. I think I'm just going to do that now for uh, whenever I play companion builds. Okay, let's get the Critter Corpse. We don't need to pick it up ourselves. We can do it from... 100 is cheap. I mean, companions are going to die. Like, maybe for... Maybe we do... Like once I get a proper companion, we're gonna do it a bit more. We're gonna we're gonna do more channel points for that. How about that? But uh, you know, for her, it's a hundred, or for like crabs or whatever. Should we get the? You know what? Um, let's end domination and teleport back. I think I want to try getting the. I want to try getting the... Also, like, no shitty names, please. Right? Like, if it's anything bad, um, I will not do it. Like, no slurs and uh, insults or whatever. Okay. Let's... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to just check out the glow white. There you are. So we're going to try proselytizing. That did not work, which is fine. But I guess we're just going to fight him. Yeah, proselytizing is not that great. Like, uh, beguiling is kind of where it's at. But uh, it's okay. Leveled up. Attribute point. We're gonna funnel everything into ego because that what, that's what we want and we're just gonna keep the mutation points um, I'm not going to get any new mutations from that We're gonna use these points once we run into the thing where we outrun the ego bonus And then we're gonna have a bunch of points to actually spend on these on these mutations so 
That's gonna be important. Okay, let's dominate. Ooh, no. Oh well, you fight for now. Let's dominate and do this properly. Come on, don't die, please. Okay. Gonna rest up. We're gonna break domination. Smell a bloody Gershling, yeah. Let's just wait. By hand. Get our health back up a little. Okay, here we go. All right. The thing is, I actually, I'm going to be going, oh. Right, I forgot about that. Oh, the, the snapshots are chimeras. Huh. I mean, let's do that. Ooh, no, they are not chimeras, but, uh... Hmm. Electromagnetic pulse, sleep gas generation, light manipulation. I mean, sure, why not? Let's get light manipulation. I mean, light... Oh, all right. Um, I should have taken a physical... Oh, that was stupid. No physical mutation to rapidly advance. It's of course not. Let's get bludgeon. We definitely need to equip our snap job properly. Let me just quickly check what I... Domination is broken. That was to be expected. Let's just quickly check what I have. It's a skull injector, freezing iron dagger, norm skull with filters. Sure. Um, so I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop the woven tunic. Do we have anything? No. No. No, not really. Yeah, that was just the um, the excited genome thing. That you get at level 5, 15. You're gonna seduce a glow white, yes. <laughs> right, now we have the Null Worm Skull with filters, which is pretty good. Which means uh, that we have an additional ego. Also, we might get a little bit of. No. Our Snake Oil will take a little bit longer. What are we using staff right now? You know what? With our main character, I'm just going to get Axe. Because uh, our friends are going to be cudgel users. Yeah, the snap jaw mutated. Yeah, right. You were right at that. Sorry, I misunderstood your question. Um... So, Axe, okay, good, we're gonna dominate again, and we're gonna keep going. Chainmail, yeah, you're gonna use Chainmail. We're still using the Bite as the main attack, and that's a short blade, right? No, it's an Axe! It is an Axe! Oh, that's kinda neat, if we just got Axe, didn't we? No, I did get Cudgel, ah, dang it. Okay, so now that we have Cudgel, uh, I'm going to set this as my primary limb. And uh, we're going to keep going. The heightened smell is actually pretty useful. You can't smell the plants here and the jilted lovers. But everything else we can. Okay. Like, picking up the Lover's Blossoms actually makes no sense with this character. Because we're never gonna get Tinkering. We might get Tinker with a companion. Um, but yeah. So the main character started with 12 intelligence, you know. Like, that's not a lot. 
so Tinker is kind of out of the question for them. The reason why you would why you want the dreadroot tubers, you know, like kill and harvest dreadroots whenever you can to get the tubers is because you need those to craft self injectors. So if you do find the recipe for self injectors, um, they take dreadroot tubers. That's the reason why I usually pick them up. Yeah. It's not often that you get the recipe for self injectors, but if you do, that's really good. Because. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because having a lot of self injectors is good. It's very. can be life saving. Okay, we definitely need to rest. Domination's probably gonna break at some point. Yeah, here we go. And that is okay. Just gonna wait. Yeah, it's not that many points. You know, like self injector is just for tinker one, so you don't need to actually go for the higher tinkering thing. But, um. Hehehehe. <laughs> Live and drink, live and drink, live and drink. <laughs> you know, snap jaws. Bite you? <laughs> live and drink. <laughs> okay. I like her. She's cool. Alright, let's go up. Hmm, that's Boston Gloves. We're gonna get those. We're also gonna get is if we find better better cudgels sniper rifle jeez just finding the weirdest shit I mean let's use a sniper rifle we don't oh we do have a light slug actually so that snap jaw now carries a sniper rifle why not Counterweighted iron mace, that's what I'm talking about. Um, like humans with dog heads, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Like, I always imagine them as kind of like, I mean, it said it right there, right? Like hyena tribesmen. I always imagine them kind of like hyenas, you know? Kind of a bit like more buff versions of the hyenas from uh, Lion King or something like that. Jackal people, yeah. Or like, yeah, like gnolls. Kind of like that, right. Light manipulation. <laughs> right, you have light manipulation. Need to keep that in mind. Um, so that's cudgel. You know what? We're gonna get wayfaring just to get make camp, so she can make food herself. That's gonna be useful. Like this, whip up a meal. Always kind of want to have that for your companions because uh, it gets tedious otherwise. Because you always have to make the camp as your as your main character and skip, eh. and then dominate again and keep going like that. All right, we're just going to go through Red Rock the the, the usual way. Like we're ju not the usual way. We're actually going to get through this from. Uh, Usually I just take the waterway back because there's usually not much reason to go up here. But you know, that we have a companion build, I want her to level a bit as well, so... I had only one lead slug and I used it. Game is... <laughs> yeah. You have a camp nearby. We have McDonald's at home. 
What was that? Wasn't that from the McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's thing? I would probably be the we have food at home person. I don't know. Like the coffee thing I probably wouldn't do. If you ever find yourself with only one lead slug, it has to be used to defeat your evil twin. You know what? That's actually That's actually kind of a Yeah. Actually a good one. You know what? Like our snapshot friend having light manipulation is not bad. It at least is not a, um, you know, like they're just disintegrating stuff now. It at least is, n oops, yeah. I mean, it destroys the corpses, but all right, folks. The thing is, is I have to probably stop pretty soon, so. Yeah. Uh, twin is always going to be more evil. Always going to be twice as evil as your character, even if you are the most evil. It just goes down to, like, void levels of evilness. If you have a really evil character. Small platinum tube. And it's shade oil. Okay. All right, yeah, this run is on a decent trajectory now. So this is good. Um, I'm gonna call it a day here. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day here. And we're gonna continue with this at the next opportunity. I don't know exactly when that's gonna be, sorry about that, but... Um, yeah. So yeah. Looking forward to that. Oops, building. Okay. Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, this might be kind of cool, actually. This might be kind of neat. This might go somewhere. If we get a good companion. Otherwise, we're just going to try to stick with Snapjaw friend here for as long as possible. Like, they get actually, the stats are not great, but uh, they make for a decent companion for, like, the early game. Uh, later on, we're gonna have to get something else. Uh, we're probably gonna find something cool. Um, no, we're not doing this here. <laughs> Master Bear Beta, yeah. Slumbling Beta. I'm not gonna entertain the innuendo here. Um, so yeah, let's see where this actually goes. It's kind of fun playing the beguiling domination character again. And uh, yeah, let's see where this is gonna take us. So, thanks you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for hanging out in the chat. That was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again next time. Also, yeah, thank you for the follow, UU33B. I'm just, am I missing something? UEB? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I should just stop right now. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.